Hey there, everybody. This is Drac. And this is Shadow. And we are in Wacky Workbench in Sonic CD. We have five, we're in zone five of seven. We're almost there, Alex. Almost. And the further we get, the more tech we see. This is actually kind of reminiscent of Chemical Plant mixed with, um, Casinopolis in a, in a way. I think you mean Casino Night. No, uh, one of them was called Casinopolis. I think it was That was Adventure. Adventure. Yeah. Oh. They all have their own names. Bottom line, lots of tech, lots of steampunk in a lot of ways. Lots of platforming. What's platform? What's platform? <laughs> uh, this is actually my least favorite level, though. And it's not just because the platform, but just because the workbench shoots you just about everywhere other than where you want to go. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, and you, you see this implemented a lot later in uh, Sonic 2, and or not Sonic 2, but Sonic 3. They like to shoot you off to random areas and make you work through it. Kind of breaking down the level a little bit. <laughs> I actually like the little spinning. And work those abs, Sonic! Work those abs! I don't think there's anything up there, so I'm gonna continue trying going down. Hey, star post. Checkpoint! Get off the platform. <laughs> That does freeze you, as you probably saw a moment ago, but the, as long as you... Well, freezing's harmless, I think, as long as you, like, press yes. the button. Yeah, to my knowledge, the freezing doesn't really do anything, um, aside from adds an extra graphic into the game. I'm pretty sure it hurts you, though, if you don't, like, if you're not pressing the button constantly to get yeah. out of it. Ouch. Get out. Thank you. Electricity. is bad. Good. Electricity's bad for Sonic, okay? Are you doing Nicholas Cage? I wish I could be a good treasure hunter. No, I'm not. I'm doing Counselor Mackey. Okay. <laughs> I still have not come across a one good person who can do a Nicholas Cage impression. Because I would want them to quote National Treasure a lot. Maybe even Ghost Rider a lot. Okay, really gotta stop humming the music. <laughs> okay. We're I'm... going to get flamed, Alex. What are you doing? <laughs> Zone one's done. You have to stop humming. Okay. I promise no more Look. humming. <laughs> Guys, here's the bottom line of it is that you know you have a good game when not just gameplay works, but audio does too. And so the fact that Alex is humming this game, that, that just shows how good the music is for these tracks. It's Rocket Slug. I forgot you did that. That's actually kind of cool. Yeah. I didn't think that actually got implemented until, uh... I don't know, it was in, it was in Chemical Plant, wasn't it? No. This is the first time it's ever been done. Well, of course I know it's the only time it's been done. Fast. I can go too fast. And we did! If I can't find a roboticizer back to you. They're so hard to find, though, because I think it's, like, way back there. Hmm. And of course, the other part that's really cool is that the music scheme will always change when you hit Future of the Past. Yeah. Oh, these things are pain. Now, this would be usually around the same time that I would be doing... Once again, I'm doing the commentary and Alex is, is behind the helm for uh, Sonic CD. Uh, this would be one of those times where we... Uh, answer questions that you guys might have, but actually, uh, we, we've been thinking about it. We really haven't come up with too much. We would love to get comments, uh, for questions that you guys might have for us. So feel free to comment in the comment section below so that we can start, uh, answering what you guys would like to know about us. You know, our gaming history or, uh, anything, basically. I mean, we'll... I think we'll give you our movie interest if, if that's what you guys would like to hear. <laughs> yeah, I just told that I'm a Michael Bay fan. Exactly. So, I mean, I think we'll go into, well, not everything, but... Yeah, we'll, we'll do our best. We would definitely like to get you guys' feedback, not just on the video and how it looks, but also uh, any questions you guys would like to ask us. Also another bad future favorite of mine, the Wacky Work Bench. Yeah, I, I gotta admit, this looks really good in, in the rusted aesthetic. Uh, that, I'm sure this is going to come up uh, in questions, but I'm sure people are wondering 
do I prefer the US soundtrack? Do I prefer the Japanese soundtrack? And I'll just say, yes, I prefer the US soundtrack. The, nothing's really wrong with the Japanese soundtrack, but I just think the US does a slightly better job of capturing everything. My, my viewpoint on this is uh, there's a Japanese and a US soundtrack. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure we talked about it. I, this, you know, it's the first time I'd ever heard about a, a variation in that regard, so my feeling is I think I've only ever heard the, the English, or the U.S. soundtrack. Yeah, probably. Which I have no problem with. I still think Sonic Boom is, like, I still have that MP3 somewhere. I still think it's a really good song and, and good cutscene for, for Sonic. I guess for Alex, too. <laughs> yeah, it's a great song. Ow. Falling Spice! And yeah, these can kill you, by the way. See, I love it in the fact that after... Ah, I did not want to peel out. <laughs> I hate that. I always do the super peel out when I mean to jump. I love the fact that, that Sonic actually tried to get inventive. Oh my gosh, we're actually going to bring up Mario again. We're going to bring up the plumber. Yeah. The boss battles always in Sonic were something to look forward to. And how the next device from, uh, from Eggman or Robotnik is going to look. Yeah. So this, in, in my opinion, since Sonic CD is still contending in 6-bit or 16-bit versus 8-bit, really good mm -hmm. compared to Mario. And this is Zone 3. We are done with Wacky Workbench. Uh, we will be right back with the next zone. I am Drag. I'm Shadow. And we'll see you in a bit.